What's going on guys? Ryan here with Jetta Patrol and in today's video I'm finally, finally going to cover my Game of Thrones Funko Pop collection. Let's get to it. Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to do a Game of Thrones Funko Pop collection video. I've been telling you guys that I was going to do this for a few weeks now and it just hasn't... It's been crazy, I'll be honest with you. Um, and I'll... I'll give, give you a little heads up. Uh, I actually recorded my entire collection video, right? I recorded that thing and I was editing it and I just freaking hated it. And there's no way I'm going to put out something that I'm not happy with. I'm just, I'm just not going to do it. So I've got something else planned for that. But for right now, we're going to cover my Game of Thrones collection. If you know, I've been collecting Game of Thrones for about two months now. And I started off two months ago with nothing. I, nothing. All right. So we're going to go through there. I'm going to do... I don't know if I have a particular order for this, but I'm definitely going to save the more valuable pops for the end. So kind of work with me on that. Obviously, I have an Iron Throne here. Uh, I'm going to uh, kind of put him right here for a second. And I thought there's a couple of these I actually have out of the box that I just got recently. So I figure we'll start with those. I've got uh, Daenerys on Drogon. And then I've got the Night King on Icy Viserion. And these two are awesome. There's no way I could have left these in the box. In fact, I actually have two of these because I got one from uh, Shumi Toys and Gifts in uh, one of their mystery boxes. Um, but these are just awesome pops. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on each pop because I got a lot to get through. And I don't want to make a 35 minute video. So here we go, guys. First two are going to be Danny on uh, Drogon and uh, Night King on on Icy Viserion. All right, so after the uh, dragons got out of here, I got these guys because you can't have a Night King on a Icy Viserion without the actual Night King, and you can't have a Night King without a White Walker, and I actually have two of each. All right, guys, next up is the Ginger himself, Tormen Night's Bane. This guy is super awesome, and I like him. I haven't taken this one out of the package yet, but I need to get some photos on Instagram. So I got him, and then I've also got the Onion King, Sir Davos Seaworth, and this dude's super cool too. And uh, that's the most, really, some recent pickups. In addition to that, I recently got from Walmart, I got Melisandre, and then in a trade, I got the Barnes & Noble exclusive Melisandre. All right, next up is Sansa Stark. This one's pretty cool. I think this is edition four. Yes, this has been around a little while. Obviously, this is vaulted. Been here for a little while. She's a super cool character. I want them to make one with her red hair versus this dark-haired variant deal. You know, she went kind of crazy. Um, and then I've got uh, Littlefinger. I got a Peter Baelish, so he's super freaking cool too. Uh, in addition to that, one of my favorite characters on the seasons, actually all of them, well, that might be a spoiler, but um, Marjorie, this one's a big one, man. I freaking loved her character. I thought she played it awesome. Um, I don't have enough good things to say about Marjorie. I liked her. Towards the end, she got a little crazy, but you know, who doesn't? And then uh, last one on this set has got uh, the NYCC exclusive uh, Leanna Mormont. So I got that one. And there they go. So that's the four for this set. I'm actually, uh, when we get towards the end of this thing, I'll try to make a wall of stuff. Uh, and it's going to be too many, though. So I'm not sure how it's going to work out. So I'm just kind of cycling these things out as we go. But uh, for right now, that's what we got for this set. Next up, we're going to break out the heavy hitters with the ECCC 2018 exclusive FYE Giant White. This guy is super freaking cool. I actually have two of these. And... Um, yeah, I just might make an army of them. I don't know. I just, I kind of like that one. So I got that one. Uh, I also have 1-1, one, one, which is awesome because he's got all the arrows stuck in him. This is actually a really cool pop. I took this one out for some photos for Instagram not too long ago. He's cool. So I got uh, Giant White. I got 1-1. One, one, and if you can't have two without the third, which is Mag the Mighty. And I believe this was SDCC, yeah, 2016. So I got this one on a trade maybe or eBay or something. I don't remember. I don't know where I got him, but I got him. It don't freaking matter. So I got three giant guys. Man, we're getting good now. We're getting into the meat and potatoes of this this here deal, man. I'm telling you, we're getting some good stuff. So I've got. Uh, let's see where we're gonna go first. Let's go with. Let's go with Ghost, right? So I've got the Ghost. There is another version of this one that's flocked that I definitely want to have in the collection. But for right now, this guy will definitely get the job done. Don't mess with Ghost. He will freaking kill you and eat you. Uh, and then I've got 
this lady here, which is another version of the Bloody Variant Hot Topic exclusive version, which I really, 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 really want. Uh, but for right now, I got the common version, which is Brienne of Tarth. This this lady, man, you don't mess with her. She was bad. And uh, I really want the bloody version. So eventually, at some point, I'm definitely going to get that. But for right now, we're going to stick with that one. She much I liked her much better as Brienne of Tarth than I did of Captain Phasma. She was a much better fighter here, which is kind of crazy because you think Captain Phasma would be a pretty good fighter, but no, she was much better here. Um, and then I've got Arya Stark, which you got to have her. She has turned out to be a fantastic character. I really like her character, and obviously she would not be who she was without the help of Jack and Hagar. So we got the NYCC exclusive Jack and Hagar. I got this on a trade somewhere, and now he's in my collection. So that's what we got for this set. And it's going to be really hard. You guys are getting the idea. It's going to be really hard to pile these up towards the end because I've got so many more left. Let's keep going. All right, next up is the man, the center of the whole freaking show, Jon Snow. So I've got several of these. This is number seven from uh, the second wave of this guy. Um, these aren't, the Jon Snows aren't very valuable. I'd like the Castle Black version, so maybe I can get that one. And the Beyond the Wall one. Kind of would like to have those, but this one's this the common version of that. I've got number 49. Um, this one's got a little more scarring on it, but you can get an idea of that guy. I, you can see the sculpts are definitely different. This one's very basic. This one's getting a lot better, but that's edition two versus edition seven, so that's certainly much newer. And then this is the latest one to come out. I got this one from Hot Topic, I believe, is where I picked this one up. Yeah, this is uh, the latest one that came out around the ECC uh, C time, uh, number 61. Jon Snow, and you can't have Jon Snow, at least I don't think you can have Jon Snow, without my favorite freaking character in the whole show, period. Like, I don't, out of all of them, this was my favorite character, and I had to have it, and she is in the collection, and that is, you know it, it's Egret. This one's by far my favorite character in the entire show, bar none. Um, I just, I don't know. There's something about this one I like. I like this pop. I like the, the the orange, red hair, ginger hair. I like the bow, her attitude. She shot her man in the back. Just saying, she was bad. And uh, yeah, can't have a bunch of Jon Snows without Egret. All right, so next up, we've got another one of my favorite characters from the show, by far. I got Tyrion. This is with the battle armor. This one's super cool. He's got the scar going all the way across his, his, uh, his face. He's got his battle axe. He's ready to roll. I like this one. There's a uh, vaulted one that's highly, highly valuable of this one with a scar. It just says Tyrion with scar or something like that. Um, and I really want that one, but that one's like $600 freaking dollars right now. So that one's probably not happening anytime soon. Um, but there's Tyrion like him uh i'd like to have him in his uh later season seven uh attire i think that would be cool so funko listen up make that we need that um and you can't have Tyrion without the man he killed his dad so i've got um tywin lannister this is a gold armor variant there's a silver armor variant as well which i'll probably end up picking up but i like the gold one so i figured i'd go with that one first and then obviously you got to have the brother uh, I got Jamie. So I got Jamie Lannister. This one's from uh, is number 10 in the line, and it is from edition two. So I mean, these are vaulted, um, except for that one, maybe. I don't think that one's vaulted, but that one definitely is, and this one definitely is. But those are the Lannisters I've got in the family. I still need a Cersei. I gotta make that happen. And so um, she's probably next up on, on the hit list, so we're gonna make that happen. But those are my current Lannisters. All right, so I've got an Iron Throne here. I love this one. If you're into photography, this one makes great subject for Instagram, but I not only have one Iron Throne, but I also have two Iron Thrones. I feel like Cletus right this second. He's got two of everything, but I have two Iron Thrones, so I got that. So we're gonna put uh, that Iron Throne right there. And now I also have uh, the Mountain, which was sent to me by uh, the Matthew from the Funko Pop Addicts Funko group. I will, um, the Facebook group, I will put a link in the description below to that. If you're not a member of the Funko Pop Addicts group, you should be. I'm in there all the time, posting stuff, videos, whatever. And uh, come check us out, all right? So it is time, guys, to get on to the good stuff. All right, so it's time to get to the Breaker of Chains. 
the mother of dragons, the first of her name. It's time to make it happen. So I've got several of these, and obviously this is a character that I got to buy all the pops for that I can see. I haven't got them all yet, but I got a few. Um, so I actually have, I do have a double of this one. I have the, um, the wedding dress. So I've got two of these. So, and uh, that one's not really in the... Gotta fix that one, but whatever. Maybe she's been drinking at the wedding there. I don't know. But I got that one. And then I've got this one, which is the most recent release. Uh, picked this one up from Hot Topic, I believe. So this is edition seven. These are edition three. Uh, these are probably 30 ish dollars a piece. This one's 10 bucks because you can go buy it right now and go get yours. You can do that. But it's a cool one. And then I've got uh, this one, which I actually got from, believe it or not, I got this from Walmart for like $4. Um, but I got her with the uh i guess that would be uh Rhaegal, right but uh, the green dragon with the red wings <clears throat> the wed wings I feel like kripke from big bang theory uh the red wings and um so there's a two variants of this one there's one with all red which is about 100 bucks and there's one that's all gold it's like five or six hundred bucks people were asking stupid money for that one i don't have that one yet uh, but maybe I will one day. So I got those. And then I got, this was one of the latest ones I've got. I've got her on the Dragonstone throne. This one is awesome. If you haven't picked this one up, guys, you need to go get it. It's hot cash time. Go get it. Pick it up. You need to buy this thing. It's freaking awesome. Um, yeah, I just, I like it. All right, guys, so by far my most valuable uh, Game of Thrones Funko Pop as of right now, which is April 12th. 2018 as of right now um i've got this one i got from a toy usa mystery box and you want to check that video out it was insane i got it was crazy you can check that out i'll put a link right here but uh i got this one from that mystery box i got the call khaleesi and rigal three pack this one's cool guys i mean this is this one's just freaking cool I, when i pulled this from that box it was insane and uh, I'm just super happy to have this one. So this is cool because it's different. I don't have another call uh, common pop. I don't have one of those. I probably need to pick one up. It's not expensive. But uh, the Khaleesi pop in this one is a lot different than the other one I've, I showed you guys. This one, she's got all like the marks and soot and all that kind of mess all over. It's just a cool pop. I like it. And I believe you had to get this one through HBO if I remember correctly if i'm wrong put it in the comments down below but i think that's where you had to get this one and uh so this one's about it's pushing about 300 bucks it's kind of hovering in that 280 300 dollars range um so pretty cool but uh, by far my most valuable funko pop in uh the game of thrones set i saved my favorite ones till the end I had to, because I freaking love these things. They're awesome. In fact, I've got more coming. I like them so much. So let's start them off. I've got the Edition 3 Drogon. This is the uh, the regular size one, right? This regular size one. There's a six inch hot top, or yeah, six inch hot topic version that I don't have yet that I will find because I have the other two six inchers on the way from Chumi Toys and Gifts. So they're sending me those. I'm looking forward to those. So I gotta have you, you got to have the big ones, right? They need to make some freaking 10 inch ones. How awesome would that be? I mean, a 10 inch pork, it's kind of silly. A 10 inch Drogon, heck yes. So put it in the comments below what you think of that idea. I just thought of it and I freaking like it. So anyways, there's that. Um, in addition to that, I've got the harder to find Viserion, right? These are, this one's probably hundred bucks or so, this one. And then I've got the much more harder to find uh Rigo. so this one's probably in the 200 dollars range somewhere in that ballpark right now um so i got these guys these are super cool i couldn't have you can't just have one of them right you got to have the whole set so i got these guys um but in addition to that it gets better right so it's what's better than three dragons is six dragons so i've got the gamestop exclusive metallic dragon three pack and i'm telling you what now this is cool there's another three pack that's non-metallic that's worth a little bit more than this one this one's probably in the uh 180 175 190 range somewhere in that ballpark it keeps it fluctuates i don't know but uh this pack is super awesome um so i'll probably try and pick up the regular version of this that way i'll have all of them i'll have like the common versions here i'll have the metallic of the other ones and then have the six inches and i'll have a whole freaking dragon army and it'll be a wonderful thing so how about that glare so give me one second i'll be right back all right guys as you can see here there is no possible way for me to put all of my game of thrones pops on one table it's kind of crazy but that's okay uh, you got to see them all guys 
Do me a favor, put in the comments down below which ones are your favorite, and also help me out with my collection. Which ones do I need to go after next? Is it Bloody Brienne? Is it the Golden Dragon um, uh, Daenerys? Is it Cersei? Is it, I, I don't know. Just let me know in the comments down below, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm having a blast. I, I really have got to figure out a way to display these awesome. Um, I do have another backdrop from Display Geek coming. Uh, for my display I got from them. It's got the uh, the mini face god and all that kind of stuff on the backdrop. So I will definitely, when I get that, share that with you guys because that display is freaking awesome. By the way, uh, Display Geek is actually donating one of their displays to my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. And I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. In addition to that, since you stuck around to the end of the video, I've got a special announcement for you. This Sunday on Sunday Night Pops, I've got another special guest. If you liked Top Pops, you're gonna love this guy. I've got the owner of Shumi Toys and Gifts gonna join me and we're gonna have a blast. We're gonna have some good times, guys. We're gonna talk about 5,000 subscriber giveaway. We're gonna talk about mystery boxes. We're gonna talk about giveaways. We're gonna talk, be there. That's what you need to do. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my uh, Game of Thrones collection and uh, appreciate it. Collect what you like and we'll see you next time.